Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. We're going to collect the energy of your person, see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. But first, we're going to see how the world around you view your person, right? This is the Marvel deck, and its relevance is to villains and heroes, okay? So we're going to see how people around y'all look at your person, how the world around you view them. Are they a villain or are they a hero? What is the energy? How does the world around look at Pisces person? Okay, we got two cards that came up, so I'm put that back. I'm only gonna take one, one at a time. I want a clear answer, a clear answer, please, for how the world around views Pisces person. Okay, we have Miss Marvel. I'm a part of something bigger. Okay, so people look at your person as inspiration, as a leader. Right. As someone who knows the way, someone who's very resourceful, a happy person. Right. Someone who's um, just seems to be blessed. OK. The sun is shining on your person. So you got a very inspiring person. People are inspired by your person. OK. The world around you, around y'all view your person as somebody who is very inspiring, very blessed. OK. All right, so let's check up on the energy of how they feeling about you, Pisces. What's the energy of Pisces person? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We're going to go ahead and get the energies out here. The Wheel of Fortune, what's that, a 10? So number one, they are leader, Pisces. Okay, we got the Queen of Latinum here. Somebody who's very responsible, right? Somebody who... I mean, they nurturing. This is a nurturing person, but they just, they, they like to take care of things, okay? Seven of Pentacles, okay? Great investor, right? They more about their money here, right? People feel like they bless. Knight of King of Latinum. Ooh-wee. Okay, Pisces, so we got a divine counterpart here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Seven of Pentacles, great investments, okay? This is a lot of earthy energy okay you could be dealing with the uh earth sign okay so how they feeling about you pisces what's crossing their energy the nine of cups nine of starships okay so how they feel about you is fulfilled okay they satisfied with this connection things are going the way you know they wanted to go it's just like a big blessing right queen of latinum i felt like she was the nurturer right like she's even though she's very responsible she takes care of a lot of responsibility but she's also very nurturing right very gentle okay we got the seven of pentacles she's the one who who in who placed the investments like the the brains of the outfit for real right like the one who backs up what she says and then we got the king of latinum he he's the teacher right he teaches her and this is how she knows right so this person views you as someone that's uh that they can pour into right that they can fulfill and that fulfills them someone where we could have a great future together here with the wheel of fortune right because you're open to learning and you're also a nurturer so it's like whatever i teach you whatever i instill into you you make it happen Right. Because I feel like Mr. Conceal don't feel is a each one teach one type of person because the king of Pentacles is not only successful, but he will teach you how to get to where he's at. OK, he will show you how to do things for yourself. So if I will instill it into my woman or if I instill it into my man and we can balance that out and invest into that, then we can have good fortune. Right. We can create our reality, our fate. Right. So overall, they happy with who they chose. OK, they feel like you somebody that's down, loyal, committed. Right. And someone that they can work with. So that's good energy. Right. Your person got good energy all the way around. So everybody, you know, view your person as someone who's very inspirational and blessed. And your person looks at this situation the same way with you. OK, so let's see. What is the seven of pentacles? Okay, it's the ten of pentacles. Okay, 
So this person is, is definitely looking for successful relationships, solid, committed relationships, compassionate relationships. This person is trying to put this relationship to a place where we don't have to worry about money, right? We want to enjoy our life. We don't have to, we don't want to worry about financial burdens, okay? So this person wants to put you in a place where you don't have to worry about bills, well, you don't have to worry about rent. You don't have to worry about how you're going to buy things, okay? They got that part covered, right? Because they blessed. And a blessed person will bless you, okay? And then we got the six of swords, okay? And this is your person moving forward with you. This is your relationship moving forward. This is y'all having peace, right? Poise. In your life. It's just calm. Okay. It's just calm. Y'all like a perfect match here. Okay. So this queen of Pen this queen of pentacles. I felt like she was a nurturer. But she was also the one who took care of things. And that comes with the ace of starships. Which is the ace of cups. Right. So she she's the one who pours the love in it. Right. She's the one who adds the compassion. Right. She's the one who cares for the family. Right. She's the glue that hold it together through her love. Her love holds this relationship together. This family. Y'all might have a family. I feel like it's a family here. Right. Four of Pentacles. Like I said, she's the one. She's the glue. So Pisces, your person feel like you the glue to this situation. So it's like either rather you teaching them or they teaching you, they still feel like you the glue. Right. Because you got a way of loving. Right. And that helps balance this situation out with all these pinnacles. Right. There has to be somebody who's compassionate, somebody who's nurturing. Right. And that's you. You the glue to hold this together and you somebody that they want to hold on to here. So we got this king of Latinum. OK, he he. Oh, my God. He comes with the king of cups. Okay, so this person is committed to you, Pisces. They love you with all they heart, right? They're, they're emotional too. I'm hearing like a gentle giant type of person, right? You would never see their emotions unless they love you, right? This isn't one who's very emotional. They're very in control of their emotional emotions, but they show you their vulnerable side, right? So they're very strong, but also very gentle. So that's why I felt like this is a gentle giant, Right. This person knows how to care for you. They know how your emotions work. They know how to cater to your emotion here. Right. They're emotionally intelligent. They're emotionally secure and they're paid. OK. Temperance. OK. This person knows how to resist temptation. They're very strong in what they believe here and they test the waters all the time. That's how they're able to stay balanced. Right. Right. So this is this is them being on the right track and being able to lead you down the righteous path, right? Down a, a life of fulfillment where there's peace and there's calm, right? And this is what it's all for, for your person. This is what they feel like it's all for, to have good fortune, to have good health, to have a good life, to live a life of prosperity and abundance, to be grateful, right? Not, uh, I mean, not, not letting this go all to my head, knowing that I need to keep that balance. Right. So, yes, I just feel like your person knows what they doing and they know how to they, like they didn't master the matrix or something. It's like this person done mastered reality or something here. We got this wheel of fortune here. And it comes with the food. Right. Every beginning is a new beginning. Every cycle is a new beginning of more wealth, more health. You know, more abundance because we're grateful, right? I still, the fool is a dreamer. They still have that childlike image, right? It's like this person never lost their youthfulness, okay? They never, it's like, yeah, I grew up, I'm an adult, but I never, I know the key to life is to stay youthful, to stay in that childlike image, right? To stay curious, right? To, to keep taking risks, to, to have faith and believe. I feel like this person has mastered the art of this universe, has mastered the matrix and, and they know how to manifest a great life. So if you got with this person, you lucky, right? 
And this isn't a fantasy. It isn't a myth. This shit can really happen to you, right? D depending on what frequency you on, how you operate, and what's your perception or perspective, right? But as far as this person, it's like they're blessed here. They're a part of something bigger with Miss Marvel. They're a part of something bigger, which means you're a part of something bigger. And together, y'all keep creating um, wonderful cycles, right? And that's an example, okay? Maybe y'all sent here to set example for the world around y'all, okay? The sun. I mean, how good can it get? How good can it get? I feel like this sun card is the divine saying, yes, go babies, go, right? Like I, I did a good job with putting y'all together, right? This relationship is growing and it's thriving, Right, and it's setting an example for generations to come, possibly even passing down generational wealth, teaching your children how to operate and work with numbers and work with astrology and work with you know the things you're supposed to grow up learning, opposing to going to school and 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 you know doing all that stuff school give you, right? But this just seemed like something more. It's like a divine presence up in this. It's like y'all being guided to, to change the world or to change your family dynamic or something like that, Pisces. I never did a reading like this before, especially a love reading. It never really spoke of anybody who's possibly good with numbers or then figured out how the universe will work and know their real true purpose and know how to operate through what's going on today. That just, you know... That just took me right, and then we have the ten of wand, the ten of swords, right? I feel like this is breaking a generational curse, like or the end of teaching uh the old ways, the end of teaching the um not the old ways, but the end of teaching like this uh indoctrinated system, right? What we all know what we all believe to be true. No, this is going back to the beginning when we work with numbers, when we work with the stars, when we work from the earth and we, you know what I'm trying to say, Pisces, because it's overwhelming me, right? This is the dawn of a new day, right? So this like what we learn, our children won't learn in that same way. We will teach them what we know now, right? And that's how the abundance is going in, coming in because it's like your person is living under a universal laws, Right. And they're teaching you or however it can take it, how it resonates. So they're teaching you how to operate under the universal laws, how to work with numbers and astrology and all of that. And it's like the, the relationship we built. Right. That's this is our fate. This is our abundance. This is our prosperity. This is what we're going to teach our children. Right. Y'all may even talk about homeschooling your children if you have them or going to have them. Right. When you get when you get in money like that and you pay like that, you can do that. You don't have to worry. That's why I felt like they want to get it to a position where you all can just enjoy life and have peace and don't have to worry about how we going to pay bills or nothing like that cuz I've already mastered the art of abundance. I've already learned how to manifest an abundance of everything I require. Now it's about preparing our children and teaching our children how to master this as well and therefore we create generational wealth if they can live through our ways right so it's like your person is a part of something bigger or it could be you take it how it resonates y'all a part of something bigger and y'all here to change the world and get back to the old teachings of how the universe works uh genuinely you know, without no rewritten history or no influences to the regular traditional type of way. All right, Pisces. So I hope this resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the fifth chakra and it's the throat chakra. And this one is relevant to setting boundaries. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I want to say yes and saying no when I want to say no. I speak up for myself. I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do 
do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than just telling them what I don't want. Okay, so there's a strict boundary that's set in this situation as well. So setting boundaries is our positive energy. Like I just want to go on and on and on. Like that boundary is like, you know, the boundary, just never mind, never mind. Okay, so setting boundaries is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.